He has a criminal history of violence against a police officer. We didn't know where that was going to go. Simple traffic stop turned into a two hour long standoff after state troopers say a man in his 70s refused to cooperate. Officers say the driver had an expired license and registration, but somehow thought he still had the right to drive himself home. News specialist Mike Anderson's live in Lehigh tonight. And Mike, a reminder that the side of the road is not the place to settle a legal dispute. Yeah, they've certainly not in this case. You know, pull, uh, state troopers had to consider this man's criminal history and the fact that he kept reaching for his fanny pack. They say they didn't have any idea how this situation was going to unfold in what should have been a simple traffic stop. A two-hour stalemate on I-15 lasting into the early morning as state troopers say 77-year-old Wesley Raymond Carlson refused to get out of his car. The gentleman tried to explain to the trooper that... Um, that it was against the Constitution for what, to do what he was doing, uh, roll up all the windows, and then just refused to talk to us after that. As Sergeant Todd Royce explains, officers had to impound Carlson's car. They couldn't let him drive home without a current license or registration. That's when the trooper on scene went up and just kind of snugged his car against Mr. Carlson's car to make sure that he's not able to leave. Carlson has a long history of traffic violations. State troopers say he also locked himself inside a car with American Fork Police earlier this year. Obviously, there are things you don't have to do when an officer stops you. Um, for example, allow a search and seizure of your car uh, without what's called probable cause or a warrant. Defense attorney Greg Scordis says drivers do have certain rights in a traffic stop, but the Constitution doesn't get you out of having your car impounded. Officers are taught uh, when people don't comply to, to at least give them a chance and to give them a second, third, fourth chance to do that. A SWAT team was called out and officers eventually smashed through Carlson's back window, tasering him to make an arrest. As Scordis explains, Carlson probably in the wrong here, but even if you think an officer is off base. Arguing with an officer on the side of the street isn't going to be a, a successful argument. It's just not. Save that battle for the courtroom. And state troopers say that whole time uh, Carlson refused to reason with them. He does have a history of some uh, court-appointed treatments, and one, including one for an anger management course. Back to you. Mike Anderson live in Lehigh tonight. Thank you, Mike.